If you could visually see how easily germs spread on cubicle curtains, you might think twice about having them. So we've got a team together today to demonstrate the spread of germs using a reactive powder under UV light. We'll be using this powder to simulate the spread of germs. Just like real germs, you can't see it. But unlike real germs, you can see it under a UV light. It easily transfers to everything you touch so you can visibly see the spread of germs. We'll be replicating the traffic that comes in and out of a patient room. One study found that a cubicle curtain is touched over four times every hour. Let's take a look at what this would look like over an eight hour period. As a control, we went around the room to confirm that there was no visual signs of the powder present. I'm going to start by infecting my hand and contaminating the curtain. I'm going to reinfect my hands with the same quantity and contaminate the quick screen. Right, let's get started. As we will see over the course of an entire patient's day, multiple people will be touching both the screen and the curtain as they come in and out of the patient room. So as you can imagine, during the course of the day, it is hard to contain the spread of pathogens. Now let's take a look at the results, keeping in mind that all of this spread from the hands of one infected person. First, let's take a look at the curtain. The porous material makes it a breeding ground for pathogens. Also, it can be grabbed anywhere, worsening the spread of germs. Due to the cost of cleaning after every patient, curtains are only changed when visibly soiled. So this curtain will remain hanging for the next patient. Now onto the quick screen. First thing to note is that the screen itself shows no sign of contamination, as all of the germs have been localized to a single touch point on the handle. Unlike the curtain, this can easily and affordably be cleaned in seconds with a standard hospital grade wipe, leaving a safer and more hygienic space for the next patient. Studies have shown that the cubicle curtain is the sixth most contaminated item in the patient room. And out of the top 25 most contaminated items, it is the only one that is not routinely cleaned after every patient. And we've recently completed a study with University College London Hospital where they found that there was eight times more viable bacterial colonies on average on their cubicle curtains than on their quick screens, which were also by the bedside. So let's work together to replace outdated cubicle curtains and give every patient the hygienic space they deserve. Quick screen, making spaces, transforming healthcare.